In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And we keep us here. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. The assembly condemned Susanna to death, but Susanna cried out, O eternal God, you know what is hidden and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of the things with which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord heard her prayer, and she was being led to execution. God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, I will have no part in the death of this woman, all the people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? He stood in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the peoples returned in haste to Daniel, and the elder, to Daniel the elders said, Come. Sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, Separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them. After they were separated, one from the other, he called one of them and said, How you have grown evil with age! Now have your past sins come to term, passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty, although the Lord says, The innocent and the just you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, tell me under what tree you saw them together. Under a mastic tree, he answered. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you your head. For the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one be brought. Daniel said to him, Offspring of Cain, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you, lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel, and in their fear they yielded to you. But a daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together. Under an oak, he said. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you also your head. For the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two, so as to make an end of you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, Blessing God, who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders, for by their own words Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil.
for you are at my side. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Praise to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather his conversion, that he may live. Praise to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You testify on your own behalf, so your testimony cannot be verified. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I do testify on my own behalf, my testimony can be verified, because I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by appearances, but I do not judge anyone. And even if I should judge, my judgment is valid, because I am not alone. But it is I and the Father who sent me. Even in your law it is written that the testimony of two men can be verified. I testify on my own behalf, and so does the Father who sent me. So they said to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. He spoke these words while teaching in the treasury in the temple area, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Remember to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> the readings this morning, if you're following along in your Daily Roman Missal can be a tad bit confusing uh, because when we look at the Gospel, your first option is the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 1 to 11. But today I read John, chapter 8, verses 12 through 20. Why? Because we heard 8 yesterday, uh, Sunday cycle C, 8, 1 through 11 yesterday. The woman caught the act of adultery. So we're offered the option to read the next few verses later. So that's why that confusion was there. And the second, the other one that's the confusion is uh, we read the shorter form of Daniel this morning in our first reading. So literally we went from, let's see here, uh, one, two, three, four pages to one, two pages. Well, a page and a half. And the reason for that is because I know some of you have to go to work. So uh, I'll summarize what happens because it's very important that we learn from Daniel. 
two older Jewish leaders and see a very beautiful woman, Susanna. They peek, uh, basically they're peeping tongs. They spy her taking a, a bath in the afternoon and they lust for her, which causes them to go in when there's no one around and try to uh, proposition her. Uh, she spurns that. And then they uh, yell, because at that time, remember the law of Moses, if you had two people who could attest to something, two witnesses, then that person that they're accusing is guilty. And uh, they accuse her of having an adulterous affair with some young fellow who just so happened to mysteriously run off. It's kind of very uh, hinting of what we heard yesterday, uh, the mysterious fellow that is not seen. So they want to stone Susanna. And Jesus, yesterday, you remember, we preached about it, uh, he says, let ye without sin cast the first stone. Well, Daniel, who's a precursor to Jesus, actually, I have to admit, this is probably one of the most favorite Old Testament readings I could ever have because he uses good old practical horse sense or common sense, which is what we don't do today. I know our president has made it famous, the statement, fake news, and that's what all of this is. The two uh, accusers, because they're older, they're men, they're Jewish leaders, they are respected because of what, who they are, what they represent. No one dares to question their story. So this young whippersnapper Daniel comes up and says, hey, hold it now. And this is where it says the Spirit of God moves in him. He says, no, I'm not going along with this story. And that's when they say, well, you have the wisdom of the elders. No, no, God's Holy Spirit gets Daniel to stop for a moment and say, wait, maybe what I am being told is not true. Maybe these guys have an agenda behind what they're saying. And it turns out they do. When he says separate them, okay, which tree was she all under? One says one tree. Uh, and which tree was were they under? One says another tree. He goes, aha, there you go. Because if it had been reliable, they'd have said the same exact story. The reason this is very, very important is because our young people today even our older people, we stop using that critical judgment ability, that ability to stop and say, wait, hold it. What I am seeing, what am I being told, maybe it is not accurate. My gosh, how many examples can we give? Covington Catholic kids. Russian collusion. How many more stories can we give of things that we're being told that we come to find out later, oh, I'm sorry, they weren't true. My mistake. At the same time, we're seeing this rise in a generation that considers itself Gnostic or atheist. They don't believe in God. They don't want to practice anything religion-based. And at the same time, we're seeing a rise in opioid addiction, a rise in depression, a rise in suicide. Gee, I wonder if there's a correlation. Yeah, there is. When you start taking out God, you start diminishing the role. And we have to say specifically, God as Father, because there are certain things in the family that only the mother can provide. And very true, there are certain things in the family that only the father can provide. As much as one single parent tries their best. Our society needs to 
stop, to critically look at something and say, wait, hold it now. That substance in the womb of a woman, you're telling me that that's what again? Because by every ultrasound picture I look at, that looks sure like a baby. Wait, hold it. What you're telling me about religion? Huh, that's odd because everything I do, all my virtuous acts are influenced in some way by religion. Don't steal. Where did that come from? Don't murder. Where does that, where do we get that from? So, don't lie. Who loves to be lied to? We have to go back and we say, aha, critically think. Yeah, it's religion. Who it helps me to establish virtues. To live a good, just, and honorable life. To treat people the way that they deserve to be treated. Until we stop, and I encourage you, gosh, y'all, your parents, your grandparents, some of your great-grandparents, those who watch this Mass on video, please encourage the next generations behind you to stop. Take a breath before they act out of an emotion, which so many people do. Look at the situation think about it because what you'll probably find is when you do that you'll find the truth and what's the old saying when you find the truth the truth sets you free may almighty god be with you may he bless you the father the son the holy spirit amen <clears throat> coming together as one family and faith let us offer to god our prayers and our needs we pray for our holy father for our archbishop for all priests religious brothers sisters permanent deacons and seminarians we pray to the lord Oh, we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We remember those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound, and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. Oh, we pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video. For the needs of you here present in our church this morning, we pray to the Lord. Oh, and we pray for the intention of this Mass, which is for the infant of Prague to continue to guide and watch over our parish finances, that we may always have enough of what we need. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice to your hands. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you, as the fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, 
and so help us imitate you in your kindness, and so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, So once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the taking up the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious to grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant our justice. Behold the Lamb of God, the old who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults, and by following Christ, hasten our steps toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Pray to St. Michael for our families. Holy Amen. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and sinners of the devil. May God lead him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise, protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed would be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sight of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, my Lord. Blessed be her holy and happy conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and 